we're here to celebrate Pride yes, yeah, this evening. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, amazing. How did you get attached to the project? Um, well, uh, as, as normal, um, sort of reading a script, going for an audition and then having a delighted happy phone call saying yes you've got the job. Um, I, I worked with Stephen actually years ago when he was an actor. Um, we did a production of a play in, in 1998 um, when obviously Pride was only a, a twinkle in his eye, uh, a very distant one at that. Um, so I've known Stephen for a very long time but um, i would not read any of his scripts before and um, to be honest I'm just an extremely proud friend as well as delighted to be in the film you know on my own behalf because I am so so impressed with with what he has written and, and put together um, yeah it's amazing it's interesting as well if he's been an actor and he's writing for actors that must make such a difference to the richness of, of, of how the characters are written I think it does yeah I mean he's got a real eye for for dialogue and for character and for relationships and all the things that as actors make us excited about you know the work that we do it's absolutely in there in spades and it's a real ensemble piece and a lot of the parts obviously you know are, are very small because it's a it's a huge piece and it can't be everybody's story but even those even those actors who may have two or three lines or even no lines are still sort of imbued with with rich characters and and a story of their own so it's an amazing piece of work and with regards to your character what was it about her that you know got, got the old blood racing in the body. I think I really enjoyed the the wit and the humanity that she'd been written with and al although in a way I think Stephen is a little bit critical of the the breakaway lesbian only group um, there is still so much love and comedy in that in, in that relationship and those characters that it's just frankly irresistible um, and you know obviously who could resist the lure of dreads you know, dreadlocks for two months and lots of denim, brilliant. It's doing something completely that's different for you, which has got to be a joy as an actor as well. Completely. Been out of the box. Yeah, it's always good to do different things. Um, and I, I think probably all of us were doing something other than, than what we normally do. And just playing a group of people, to, to, to have the opportunity of playing a group of people who have really gone and done all of this that we're now, you know, replaying all these years later is an immense privilege um, an incredible group of people they got together to do it and I'm so in awe of the real guys I mean thoroughly starstruck of everything that they did and, and who they are and how cool they are now you've probably seen them they're a bunch of absolute dudes oh, but the, and you know what because of the attitudes of people back you know 30 years ago it shows how brave they are as well doesn't it? amazingly brave incredibly brave and to think I mean that they that they literally have changed the way that that we view um, homosexuality now. It's extraordinary. It's something to be so proud of.